Who are you? Well, who, who am I? That is a surprisingly complex question, and I've possibly made it more complicated than it needs to be by doing these videos as a character rather than myself. So who is Mr. Angry? Outside of the online world, I'm an IT professional. I get paid reasonably well, which is just one reason I wear the mask when I do this insane shit. Uh, because I work in a relatively small, conservative, gossipy job market, and the less I do to make potential employers nervous, the better for me. And I'm a contractor, so I have to go back into the job market usually a couple of times a year, so I'd rather not make my life overly complicated. Outside of that professional setting, uh, I actually had a theatre degree. Somehow I ended up in IT after training in theatre, uh, and I majored in writing as well, which has always been a passion of mine, writing. And I do actually get to do a bit of that as an analyst, a business analyst in the IT world, but not in the truly creative sense. So a while ago I started a blog, and the blog was actually intended to try out some material I was thinking of doing as stand-up comedy. And I had come up with the concept of the character, Mr. Angry. The mask is at least as much character as it is an attempt to be sort of anonymous. Very sort of, because anybody who knew me even in passing would know me instantly. I mean, the mask is translucent, for God's sake, and I'm using my normal voice. People would pick me straight away. So it's a lot about the character. I like the sort of expressiveness you get by cutting the jaw of the mask out so you get the animated lip and jaw. Gives it a bit of life. Uh, and I get to just rail on like a lunatic about things that piss me off. Uh, I've been doing the blog for a while, about five months. And a while back I thought, okay, I've been working on all this material and the blog's obsessing me so I haven't even tried to do performance stuff. So I'll do a halfway step. I'll do YouTube because then I can host the videos on my blog which my regular blog readers have been enjoying and I've been enjoying doing. Thing is, I'm really competitive. I started doing the blog for myself, but you know, I wanted attention, I wanted page views, I wanted you know regular subscribers to it, and I have that. Uh, on a good day I get a thousand hits a day or more, uh, and although YouTube started as just a vehicle for hosting my videos, once I saw the people who were on and the sort of things they were doing and the attention they were getting, I wanted it. I wanted more. And I was particularly refreshed and surprised to see some Aussies getting quite a bit of attention. I'm thinking, uh, Blunty3000, uh, Sean Bedlam, a man I identify with very well, and even little Emelina. Flying the Aussie flag, I'm quite uh, parochial, I like that. And so now I'm determined to get a bit of attention on YouTube. It's not my main focus, but I can't just sit here I, trying to get attention. Uh, and uh, Renetto is someone I like, and it's a good idea. So who am I? Um, so that's me. Uh, by day, IT professional. By night, deranged psychopath with a blog who does videos. Uh, and for all those who are wondering, no, I don't think the mask hides who I am. Uh, if you want to be a jerk and say it makes me a coward, uh, knock yourself out because unlike another one of the people I like online, Mr. Safety. If you want to see someone who's a better human being than me, Mr. Safety, professional idiot, his video response to Renetto, he goes out of his way to say something positive to anyone who leaves one of those spiteful moronic remarks. Me, I give him payback because honestly, if you like sucks that much that you think you're adding some meaning to it by just being negative and trying to take down someone who's doing something productive, I'm going to give you what you deserve. Uh, and Renetto, man, I feel for you. Your kid, that kid's video was great. It was so funny. The kid's got spirit life. I can't say I'm surprised by what happened. Uh, I have an extremely low opinion of humanity and that low opinion gets reinforced every day. Every time I think I've got the bar set for the lowest a human can go, someone goes one better. It's even worse, even dumber. All the Nazis and racists and homophobes and haters on YouTube, they make me sick, but they, they make me laugh. Uh, they're just so pathetic. Uh, I joined 
the anti-racism initiative because I thought it was an important message to get out there. And I get all these stupid wannabe insults calling me Jew, Zionist, gay, I, not Jewish, not gay. Don't take it as an insult. I take it as an insult if I get equated with some of you morons, okay? I'm me. I'm having fun. A lot of people are enjoying doing it. Let me say, the positive people who are the real backbone of the YouTube community and Renato is absolutely right about that strength of just the community that YouTube creates and the opportunity to reach people it creates. I tell you what, the one guy, Paul, who thought my work was too good to be amateur, he thought I was some stealth professional. Mate, it's really hard to get a better compliment than that. So thanks a lot. Uh, and actually, a close to getting such a good compliment just today. A new subscriber, he, si he signed up and said his sole reason for signing up was so he could respond to a video of mine and subscribe. It really doesn't get any better than that. So if someone wants to know what YouTube is, it is a golden opportunity to do whatever you want. Think about it, think about what's important to you, what you want to get out there, and you can do it because YouTube lets it happen. YouTube is deeply flawed, but just deeply fantastic as well. Pretty much like the human race. Deeply flawed, but full of potential. So take a hold of that potential, people. YouTube. No one's had this chance before. We've got it now. Make the most of it.